currently the window of opportunities between 12th to 19th of july so currently the chandrayaan 3 spacecraft is fully integrated we are completed the testing we are building the rocket now the rocket assembly is going on another two days the rocket assembly will be completed then we'll assemble the chandrayaan 3 on the rocket and we'll go for the launch campaign the launch of chandrayaan 3 has been scheduled for july 13th at 2 30 pm this is a follow-on mission to chandrayaan 2. Officials said that the purpose of the mission is to demonstrate end-to-end -end capability in safe landing and roving on the lunar surface. Reports said that it has a lander and rover configuration. Chandrayaan-3 will be launched by the Launch Vehicle Mark III from Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sri Harikota. The mission will launch on the Geosynchronous Launch Vehicle Mark III, which is India's heaviest rocket to the moon. Reports said that Chandrayaan-3 consists of an indigenous lander module or LM, a propulsion module or PM and a rover. The objective of the mission will be to develop and demonstrate new technologies required for interplanetary missions. This ambitious task follows the Chandrayaan-2 mission, which crash-landed on the moon's surface four years ago. ISRO Chief S. Somnath said that currently the Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft is fully integrated. Well, currently the Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft is fully integrated. We have completed the testing and also mated with a rocket uh, uh, compartment that's called a payload fairing. And uh, we are building the rocket now. The rocket assembly is going on. Another two days, the rocket assembly will be completed. Then we go through a series of rigorous testing program. Then we'll assemble the Chandrayaan-3 on the rocket and we'll go for the launch campaign. So currently the window of opportunities between 12th to 19th of July. And we will take the earliest possible date, maybe 12th maybe 13th or maybe 14th, we don't go to the Earth's end unless there is a technical issue cropping up. That's why there is no exact date today announced and uh, we will come come to that exact date after all the tests are completed. So people are ro giving rumors of various dates, so it doesn't matter. Final date will be will be within this. So because the report suggests that on 13th, 2.30, uh, on 13th is the date decided for the Chandrayaan. What is your take? Uh, no, no, it is not a decided. When I say it is not decided, who else is deciding, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Artemis Accord is very important for India and U.S. Just, uh, the, both the countries have signed it. How yeah. big is this for the uh, space in India? Sir? See, we are looking at Artemis Accord as a political uh, engagement with the uh, U.S. basically. It is a statement of intent that we, when U.S. Uh, is proposing a collaborative work in the space segment, especially exploration of outer planets uh, in a very cordial atmosphere between different nations. We agree with that. So it, it, does, it has a big uh, statement, especially we would like to uh, work with the US, especially on technologies which are high end. Uh, space is one of them. So once you do that, I believe that it will open uh, new opportunities for industries who are in Indian, Indian industries who are working in space sector to work with the US companies who are equally working in the space sector. So the advancement of the electronics, new processes, etc. takes place in US. And this access to this new technology to the Indian company is so important for them to innovate and bring up value, which, which will give an opportunity to market them in the US market. This is precisely the objective for us. So we would like to make sure the Indian companies contribute to the US space program. It's not a great thing, no? So the earlier the US sees it as an opportunity because Indian companies have the technological strength today. They have a cost effectiveness and they have a low development cycle time, which they want to bank on. So it is, it is the purpose that it is jointly uh, developed this whole accord signing for the benefit of US as well as the benefit of India. Last up would be on the Aditya, sir. Everybody is curious on the update on Aditya. It's a very big assignment uh, or project. What is the update on that? Update is that satellites is now getting integrated. The payloads are de developed by various agencies. It has reached uh, the satellite center. Currently, uh, payloads are getting integrated with the satellite. And uh, it will go through a series of testing, including thermovac, vibration, so many things. And uh, after that, we will we'll have the launch. The, it goes in a PSLV. But before that, another PSL launch is scheduled, uh, end of July. So that will send a commercial launch. So after that, we are already starting another building, uh, next to PSLV. Uh, and we are targeting by August end that uh, Aditya can go. ISRO said that the propulsion module will carry the lander and rover configuration to 100 km into the moon's orbit. The lander, rover and the propulsion module will have payloads for performing experiments designed to give scientists new insights into the characteristics of the moon. The lander will have four payloads. They are radio anatomy of moon-bound hypersensitive ionosphere and atmosphere or RAMBA, Chandra surface thermophysical experiment or CHAST, instrument for lunar seismic activity or ILSA, and the laser retroreflector array or LRA. 
The six-wheeled rover will have two payloads, namely the Alpha Particle X-ray Spectrometer or APXS and the Laser Induced Breakdown Spectroscope or LIBS. In addition to these, there will be one payload on the propulsion module, the spectropolarimetry of habitable planet Earth or SHAPE. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.